So I found a way, way better way to run Stable Diffusion in Windows on AMD GPUs. And I actually found it because of Lucid. Uh, he gave me this link. And this must be a new way to do it because I don't remember seeing this. And also this page was edited yesterday. So there is a good chance that this is new. But um, so first thing you want to do, because this will take the longest, is you want to go to the second link. Actually, the first link in the description. Uh, and it'll take you to Hugging Face, and then you'll want to uh, download this checkpoint right here. It's about four gigs, so make sure you got four gigs of space. Uh, go ahead and just put that in a folder with all the stuff that you're going to be doing for uh, Stable Diffusion. Uh, so while that's downloading in the background, you'll want to go to this first GitHub link. Um, this will be the this page that you're looking at right now. This is the second link in the description. Click on this link, click on code, download zip, and put it in the same folder, okay? And then do that same thing for these two GitHub links. So click on code, download zip, click on code, download zip. Okay, so now you got three of these uh, Git, GitHub uh, zip files. Un, uh, unzip them all, extract them all, um, and then you want to, you, you'll have a folder uh, one is called K Diffusion Direct ML, and then it'll probably say Master uh, dash Master, and then you'll have another one Stable Diffusion dash Direct ML dash Master, and what you'll want to do is rename those, and let me show you what it will be renamed to uh, repositories. Okay, so the one that says K Diffusion, rename that to where it just says K dash Diffusion. And then the one that says Stable Diffusion Direct ML, rename that to Stable Diffusion Stability AI, just like how you see it here. So rename those two, and then take that folder. And this is, you want the folder, not the zip folder. So make sure you unzipped the folder uh, and put those two folders in the repositories folder within this folder, which is the main Stable Diffusion Web, I, web UI. So. Uh, web UI direct ML master repositories and then put those two folders in there after you rename them or you can rename them in there it doesn't matter um, and then once you do that now hopefully your uh, checkpoint that we did earlier is downloaded so go uh, find that checkpoint that you had uh, put it in the models and the stable diffusion folder right here, so I downloaded it and I put it in here. Um, and now that you do all that, you should be able to run web ui-user.bat. And uh, you should have no problems now. One thing that I had to do is I was getting this error right here and it was saying basically it couldn't install GFP GAN. And uh, the way that I fixed that is I put uh, this line into this batch file right so so this is originally not here it looks like that and i had to put it in like that just to get it to install all the dependencies but now mine works and uh, as you can see it says running on local url you want to copy that paste it and boom there you go and let me show you that it works real quick uh castle with blue flag something like that and let's generate this and you can see if you go to the command prompt that it's running and this is running locally even if I turned off my internet this would still work it's running on my GPU locally so I don't have any wait time other than the generation time it takes to generate the image um, but so this way is especially cool because you can use any checkpoint uh, that you can find and you can also you can also do uh, what am I looking for you can add LoRa so click on show extra networks and you can add uh, LoRa um, like basically extension so if you want something well, I didn't even do a blue flag um, but it still looks good um, you can add LoRa extensions, which you can find uh, using this website called, I believe it's Civ 
Civ yeah. CV I, I don't know how to pronounce it. But basically uh you can go and sort by Laura and you can uh let's do safe. Yeah, that sounds good. Um basically you can add these extensions that allow you to do specific things. A lot of them are anime girls for some reason. Uh is there anything that's not a girl? An anime girl. Is there anything that's not an anime? Well, if you want to generate anime girls, this is the perfect thing uh, for you. Uh, but basically, Laura uh, allows you to generate more specific things that Stable Diffusion by itself isn't very good at. You can also train using uh, this method, and you can also do image to image using this method. I tried. Uh, both of these and I couldn't figure it out but if I figure it out I'll make another video with a tutorial on how to do that because I'm very interested in that uh, but other than that it works just like shark does in my last video uh, but this is just way more customizable and open source so uh, hopefully that worked out for you if it didn't leave a comment uh, I highly recommend joining the discord in the description uh, and I can help you out there um, and we have other people that would, I'm sure would help you out. Um, but thanks for watching and, uh, have a good day.